centers for learning, unlearning and relearning? How emancipative does the new education policy appear? Does it augur well in the sense that it can be emancipative? I suppose this conference will throw light on some of these queries. The timing and manner in which the NEP was passed in the parliament forced us to raise our eyebrows. Some of the statements made by the present chairman of the UGC also do not augur well for the economically weaker section in view of higher studies. Curtailment of the budget for education on the one hand and pushing the educational institutions into the hands of the corporate or the wealthy on the other definitely denies the possibility of emancipation for the poor section of the society. Lack of professors and teachers in government run colleges and schools or the teaching posts remaining vacant for too long speak of the lackadaisical attitude. Instances of changing syllabus to suit religious fanaticism and fairy tales to appear as historical facts in the textbooks not only present a sorry situation of our education but also make education appear like a farce. Some of the incidents of communal hatred in the educational institutions are counter witnesses to the possibility of emancipation. The atmosphere prevailing in many of our schools and colleges seems to contribute to moral decadence and depravity. Educational institutions have become mere shopping centers of knowledge and information and their primary purpose, namely character formation, is given a backseat or completely ignored. What about our Christian or Catholic schools and colleges? Is the goal of our education in our institutions to prepare professionally competent, morally upright and socially conscious leaders who will not only manage their own lives and families responsibly but also change society for the better? Don't we hear or observe sometime that some of our own schools or colleges aim at only academic excellence and higher income at the expense of human and Christian values? This conference could look into this question too while asking if the education in general is emancipative. I would like to conclude with some wise remarks of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. Talking to the general audience and the Global Researchers Advancing Catholic Education Project in short grace, a new international research project, he has said, you cannot educate without walking together with the people you are educating. To educate is not to say purely rhetorical things. To educate is to make what is said mean reality. This is human education. To educate is this bringing forward and promoting growth, helping to grow. He went on to elaborate that at the center of every educational program, both formal and informal, should be making of human persons in their value and dignity, fostering their distinctiveness, beauty and uniqueness, and their capacity for relationship with others and with the world around them. He also added, that education should teach them to reject lifestyles that encourage the spread of throwaway culture. I wish this august body of philosophers and educators a very emancipating, lively and learning time 
in the next two days or more. May God bless you all. Thank you.